we regularly need to invite the Spirit of God to make us brand new, to reset us to the original settings, to hunger after him, to long because we love him, not to grieve and quench him, and to surrender. In fact, we'll see in just a moment that uh, our lives are kind of like if, if this platform was a, a plot of ground. The Holy Spirit in any part of our life that he is given access to by us surrendering, he plants something that grows. And you know what that's called? The fruit of the Spirit. It's the fruit of the Spirit flourishes in any part of our life that we have given up and over and surrendered to him. That's, that's what he wants to do. He makes us brand new. He takes that, that thorny, stony, fallow ground, and he brings forth life. It's a byproduct of our salvation. It's the Spirit of God who cleanses our minds. Now, let's turn there. I don't know where you guys are probably still in Genesis, but let's look for just a minute at Hebrews 9, because this is where... I look across the table and I say, and primarily 99 point, well, no, about 95% of the time I disciple men. Uh, of course, I have daughters and a wife, so I spend a lot of time discipling ladies. But, but, but the biblical pattern is Titus 2 women nurture and disciple women, and Titus 2 men nurture and disciple men. And you don't have a lot of this cross-pollination, which, you know, really protects the church. Because when you nurture and disciple someone, you have a growing attachment to them. And that's why women counsel and disciple women and men uh, counsel and disciple men. And, and that, that is vital. Of course, though, now with all of our sexual disorientation, you know, everything is dangerous nowadays. But uh, not if you're in the spirit. And this is what it says. Turn in your Bibles to Hebrews 9.14. I actually have them mark this. And what I say is, this is vital for you to know because the Spirit is the one who cleanses our minds. What is our mind? Our mind is our connection to the spirit world. Our mind is like Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi opens up an unseen world and we can see things out there that we couldn't see without it. And it opens to us the ability to get things from this unseen world that we need or want and send things to the unseen world. What, what is all that? That's all that, that interface between the physical world here where we live, you know, the, this world of weather and pain and needing to pay bills, the physical world, and the spiritual world is connected with our mind. The mind is the interface to the spirit world. That's why we're supposed to guard our minds. We're supposed to, to wear the helmet of salvation that protects our minds. So it's the spirit of God, the one who already has sealed us, who keeps our minds clean. God says, if you allow into your mind, what does the verse say? How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offered himself without spot to God? Hebrews 9, 14, are you reading it? Do you see what it says? It's talking about the three persons of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And it says, how much more shall the blood of Christ, the Son, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without spot to God? The Holy Spirit took the sacrifice of Christ on the cross and offered it to the Father what does it say, the rest of the verse? To purge your consciences from things that lead to death. If we are not vigilant, we get infected. You know what the Bible says? Whatever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, let those things into your mind. That's Philippians 4.8. Do you know what it says? Whenever we are not doing what is true, honest, just, pure, lovely, and of good report, and thinking on those things. We're infecting our minds, just like the office building in Manhattan. And we're getting a virus that grieves and quenches the Spirit of God. And when he's grieved and quenched, the Bible doesn't make any sense. We can't tell where we're going. It's kind of like, uh, you know, uh, having your windshield fog up instantly, you know, and you can't see anything, or, or having a huge rainstorm where the wipers can't keep up, and you have to immediately slow down and start pulling over. You don't know where you are. Did you know when we get infected with things that aren't true and aren't honest and aren't just and aren't pure and aren't lovely and aren't of good report, it fogs the window. We can't see where we're going spiritually. We can't hear the voice of God. 
We don't feel like we're related to him anymore. And so the Holy Spirit is the one when we pull over and say, whoa, I don't feel close to you. I can't understand the Bible. I don't even want to pray. I feel far away. I don't even feel saved. Hebrews 9, 14, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offered himself without spot to God. That's a past event right here. That was A.D. 30 that that took place. But it says he today can purge your minds, your consciences, from anything that's a pathogen that leads to death. And then, by the way, you know what the twin verse is? If you write in your Bible, you ought to put a little arrow. The twin verse to this is Hebrews 10, 22. And it says, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our minds sprinkled and our bodies washed with pure water, which is the word of God. And so what it says is that, that no matter how far away from the Lord, it's only one step back as we invite him to cleanse our minds and we can draw near to him again in full assurance that we're welcomed. And that's all a work of the Holy Spirit. Every bit of that. And he does that in our life when we give him access. You know, it's kind of like uh, yesterday we were trying to transfer a big file between me and one of my children. And they said, oh, Dad, you know, this and that. And I said, well, why don't you just open up? You know, let me connect to your computer. I'll just pull it across. Oh, yeah, fine. Did you know that's what the Lord is saying? Just open up. I'd like to come in and cleanse that part of your life. I'd like to come and plant the fruit of the Spirit and that part and that part and that part and that part. I just want to, I want to work inside of you.